Welcome back to RFID Made Simple, where today I'm going to be continuing my thermal transfer printer series by demonstrating just how to calibrate the media on the Zebra ZT410. If you missed my video last week, I showed how to calibrate the media and the RFID of the Sato CL4 and X Plus. So make sure you hop on my LinkedIn page to check out that video. Without further ado, let's get into it. The ZT410 revolutionized the world of RFID thermal transfer printing when it came to market. It was one of the first RFID thermal transfer printers that could handle on-metal RFID tags. Zebra is a well-established organization in the world of RFID, partnering with many of the largest manufacturers in the RFID industry. Even though there are many great competitive products out on the market, the ZT410 still finds itself as a staple for many large manufacturers around the world. There are a few critical steps to ensure that your ZT410 works properly and efficiently to help your organization. And if you follow my steps today, I will help ensure that your ZT410 performs where you need it. There are a few ways to calibrate the Zebra ZT410, but today I'm going to show you the quickest and the easiest way that I have found to be the most successful for many different applications. The first step is to prepare the media. As we can see, the media is already loaded, but in order to prepare the media, I need to remove a few labels. So now, as you can see, there are labels and then also blank liner. This will allow us to train the sensor so that it can see the liner and the labels separately. I will now back this up so that the liner is underneath the sensor where I'm going to train. The next step is to go into the home menu. If you go into settings, as you can see, there are a variety of settings within the menu using the arrow keys to move around the different menu. In order to find the calibration, you have to move into the tools menu option, which is indicated with the wrench and the hammer icon going inside there. Then if we navigate to the right or left until you find this head close action. Notice right now it is set to feed. What this means is when I close the print head, the printer will automatically feed the media through in order to recalibrate the sensor and line up the media. I want this to be set to short cal or short calibration. This will do a quick calibration once I close the print head. Once I have that set, I can go ahead and back out. And then because of the setting that I just entered. If I open the print head, notice the printer tells me the print head is open. And then if I close it, now it's indicating on the status that it is ready to function. And if I hit the pause button to unpause it, it'll start uh, initiating the short calibration. So as we can see, after feed, feeding through quite a few labels, the printer has now
calibrated to the media. If I hit feed, we can see that my media is now calibrated. Now it's important after doing this short calibration that I go back into my tools menu, navigate back over to the head close action and change this back to feed. Otherwise, every time I close the print head, it is going to initiate a short calibration, which we do not want. As I mentioned earlier, the feed function will just allow the sensor to realign itself so that you're ready to print your next media. Now I will do this if I back up the media. Close the print head and then hit the pause button to unpause the printer. And now as you can see, the printer is calibrated and ready to print. There are a few more steps to understand when it comes to calibrating the RFID on your ZT410 printer. There is an auto RFID calibrate feature inside the printer that can work and can be successful. However, I like to take the manual approach when it comes to calibrating the RF. There are different antenna positions and that's indicated on a zebra map provided on the zebra website. In my next video, I will show you how to use that RFID map so that you can pinpoint the best RFID settings for your media. Thanks for joining me on this week's episode of RFID Made Simple. Leave some comments below on what other RFID concepts you want made simple.